Hey folks, would-be farmer. Second day of fall. Just south of Crescent City in Putnam County, Florida, halfway between Jacksonville and Orlando. So let's see what's going on at the beginning of fall, huh? Autumn, yeah, let's check it out. Oh, just as I said that, the sun's coming out. We had this nice overcast, which is great for doing videos. <laughs> And bam, the sun's starting to come out. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and as a vertigo dude, I know how important it is to hold the camera still. I'm going to try if I can quit laughing. So we got avocados coming coming through here. We got about six avocados. Should be ready in about a month based on what some of the experts are telling me. Hopefully. Um, limes are producing. This is the first year for limes and avocados. And also the first year of me as a videographer, which you can tell by my mistakes. <laughs> we got bananas. I got at least four racks of bananas I have found in the area that are going to be ready for us to consume, hopefully by Thanksgiving. I got to trim back this area. There is a little pond in there somewhere, a little frog factory. I have got to get in there and trim that back. In Florida, I think the pond gurus say that we need about 75% shade. Well, that's probably closer to 90% shade, so I'm, I, want, I might want to trim some of that back. But in the summer, I don't mind it getting bushy because that heat will kill a small pond like that. All right, oh, getting kind of jungly. A lot of my work lately has been path maintenance. Pretty hot in the summer. I do do, I do do, I do do, do 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 do. I do do some planting. Um, like what I just did, which is to plant my face in a spider web because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, planted my face into a spider web. I'm getting good at that. I'm getting good at the fact that I don't scream and holler like a six-year-old anymore. I've gotten used to it. If one of them bites me, one of them bites me. I'm not, I can't freak out about it. All right, so back to this, <laughs> back to this walk. Uh, now, this is a mulberry that I've planted in a very bad spot, so I'm going to have to use that probably as a, a nursery for cuttings and keep that really small. That's probably what I'm going to do. I may just, I may just move it. As you can see, we have a big problem trying to find Biden's Alba. Biden's Alba just won't grow here. <laughs> Biden's Alba is everywhere. And it's nice because it exists oftentimes when other plants are not flowering. So this gives, gives us an opportunity for some pollination, yo. All right, entering a little hibiscus forest here. Had to trim this back because it really had a different idea for the path coming through here. It did not want a path, so I've had to trim that quite a bit. Which is nice because it's edible, so the trimmings and prunings go into the salad plate or in the smoothie. Yeah, baby. Got another little avocado here. This is called a May avocado. And I think it means it may fruit sometime. Um, we'll see because it's, it's not a graph, so it's going to take 7 to 10 years or something. All right, so let's roll. Let's roll this direction. Wow, more Biden's Alba. A native. I think it's the number two or number three nectar source for bees. The bees love it. I know one of the top nectar sources is the uh, sable palm. All right, uh, Dennis, quit. Jerking the camera around. All right, let's see here. This might be a good time to stop this video because I can't upload 30 minute videos very easily. It's much better for me to do five, five minute videos like that. So we'll stop this now and we'll start a part two.